Hi, I'm Paul Darley, and thanks for tuning into our February issue of Inside Darley. This issue is really a special issue on family businesses and a little bit of insight into Darley as a family business because I'll tell you, it really permeates, the sense of family really permeates everything we do as a business and is, we use it as a point of differentiation in many of our markets and it really helps guide us in our decision making and in many respects just defines who we are as a business. And every year we have an annual family meeting where all of the stockholders and the next generations get together and we've been doing this for over 10 years. We got together just last month with our family council. It's led by Stephen Darley. Stephen's our uh, chairman of the family council. He's the oldest member of the third generation. He does a spectacular job leading these meetings and really the purpose of the meetings is to make sure that we're educated the family, both our generation and the next generation on the, on the business, making sure that we're promoting harmony throughout the business, making sure that everybody knows the rules for coming into the business or while you're in the business, operating in the business, and really ensuring that we're perpetuating this company as a family business. And after the, uh, our annual meeting, we went this year to a, uh, and worked at a charity organization where we prepared food for the needy and it really in line with our family core values of humility and, and service to, to, to humanity and giving back. So great being with them. I'll tell you, the first article that we've attached here for you is a, uh, is a quick blog out of Chief Executive Magazine's newsletter. And I would encourage you to go to chiefexecutive.net and sign up for their newsletters and their magazine. It's an incredible magazine. But they, th this article talks about five keys to creating a successful bi uh, family business and and f so that the family also uh, can perpetuate the business and number one is making sure that they know what the business is understanding the role that everyone plays in the business number three keeping lines of communication open number four making sure that they get out and visit other businesses and number five making sure that they have balance in their lives you can't be all work or all play you've got to have a balance the second article that we've attached here for you is called the family business governance guidebook or hand book rather and I'll tell you it's it's just an incredible document it's put out by IFC they're the International Finance Corporation they're a part of the World Bank group and this article is just phenomenal it really lays out the rules for uh, governing a family business and they talk really at the beginning about three circles in any family business you've got the family the business and the ownership and how those three overlap and the in the dynamics uh, that take place when uh, those three overlap is uh, really interesting to know they talk about the importance importance of having a family constitution, which our, our, which our family has, and making sure that you have the family participation rules for the next generation. And one of the last things that they really talk about is the importance of, an, uh, of a strong outside board of directors, which our company has. And I'll tell you, we are really excited to bring in Gary Breeze onto our board, who's just joined our board of directors. Gary's been a friend of our family for over 30 years. He recently retired as the FEMA director for uh, Region 8. He served as the executive director of the International Association of Fire Chiefs for over 22 years. He's one of the world's renowned uh, experts in uh, weapons of mass destruction and homeland security. So we're really excited to have uh, Gary on our board. And welcoming him on are three other just outstanding outside board members. Uh, General Peter Schoomaker, who recently retired from the U.S. Army as the Chief of Staff. We have Stephen Rogers, who is uh, one of the highest respected uh, professors in all of uh, uh, the business schools these days. He's a professor at Harvard Business School now. And last is Sam Skinner, who's one of the highest profile uh, executives here in Chicago. He's an attorney. He sat on, uh, he, he served uh, our country under George Herbert Walker Bush as the Secretary of the Department of Transportation, and he also served as his Chief of Staff for a while. So exciting outside, exciting to have those outside board members on our, on our, on our board of directors. So the last article that we've attached for you here is an article on the, uh, the how Darley went through our succession plan when Bill Darley stepped down in the mid-1990s and Family Business Magazine uh, ran with this article in 2009 and actually they ended up receiving some awards on it but very interesting on how succession planning played out in our business so if you're not familiar with that story I'd encourage you to download that and check this out so thanks for tuning in to this issue of Inside Darley if there's anything we can be doing to support you we hope you'll reach out to us.